What's up YouTube? So this is part two of some of my other videos on and right now what I'm doing is working on getting the winch out of this side by side here. It's a Harbor Freight winch I've had for however many years, 2018 when I got this thing. Now it's 2020 December. Um, great year. Awesome year. Um, anyway, so what I'm doing is I was going to get the winch out to show you what the new one is like compared to the old one. And I went ahead and started swapping some of the parts over. I probably should have done that, but I'm going to show you a little bit right now. So one thing that we're going to look at is this wire right here. So as you can see, my wire, my hand has got a bunch of wires in it, four wires. This goes to the plug, which I mounted here. Now that plug goes to the remote, which is right here. And it also had a like little switch for the handlebars, which ain't got no handlebars. You're not putting a 5,000 pound winch on your little ass Honda. At least I don't think. You might, but I don't know. But this one actually comes with a connector like this. And it only has two wires that connect here on the solenoid. One there and, and one there. There's Well, here, I'll show you on this one. One there and one there. And that's it. Well, and then, and then you hook it up to a power. So I ran the power right here, which I've got to the switched ignition source. If you want to know how I've wired this thing, I've got a video up on that that I'll link above and I'll, I'll just put a playlist at the end of all of the videos on this thing. It'll also have a parts list down below of things like drive shaft and whatnot. But anyway, the reason why I'm changing it out is just because I got new stuff. I'm going to go ahead and do it. That one there has started to short a little bit like you really have to like push it in but that's okay uh, it's been underwater a lot but this is the other part of the harness you can see the plug there and it comes with a dash switch that's pretty cool uh, the other one did not do that so that's definitely an upgrade and I'll show you the switches side by side and show you what those look like side by side so here's the old one and the new one the new one's much better looking it's got rubber over this switch this one does not it still works but got this one instead so I'll be using it don't really know if there's any differences other than that I don't even know if you can use them back and forth I would assume you could but also I don't think that the other one came with some of the other stuff like the uh, clevis or whatever you call this shackle but everything else seems to be the same like the roller the same just different color it's black instead of gray um the relay is the same i'm not even going to change the relay i've already got two extra relays and uh i've never had a failure it doesn't usually get water under the dash and that's probably what would kill it but like i've said in other videos what has had major issues are the factory power wires going to the motor and the factory wires going to the solenoid. They have been proven not to be able to take the elements and high loads. So I've replaced those with better wire. Alright, so I've got it just temporarily set here. Out. In. Still on the old winch. Still got to get it out. That cable is brand new. I've broken a bunch of cables on this but mainly because of the cables that I bought from Amazon. I found one that seems to work pretty good. I don't like the steel cable, so I will be immediately switching to the steel. I mean, from the steel. So as you can see, it's really stuffed up in there. It's about time to pull it out and show you the differences in between the two. Unfortunately, it's really buried up in there. I wish I had a high lifter bumper where it's sitting on the front, but the bolts that hold that bumper on are ridiculous. I've ripped that bumper off before. The way they mount will rip out of the frame. You almost have to change them to different bolts. Uh, just not really impressed with the quality and how stuck you've been. I would have ripped it off. So I'm going to stick with what I got. It's a frame mount from Super ATV. I'll also link it below. So here they are side by side. This is the old one and this is the new one. You can tell the end where the planetary gears is designed a little bit different. It's got four bolts to hold it on instead of a bunch around the outside. Hopefully this seal is better because if you can tell it's got a bunch of RTV around it. It is leaked. 
these both seem to operate the same way one is not better than the other it seems like which basically it's just pushing a spring back and forth so they seem different if you look at the mounting plate of this one it's much thicker than this one here they are on top of each other it's kind of hard to tell with them sitting there here they both are upside down so I definitely say that this one's just stronger than this this has got a big divot here this barely has a divot right there it's got this that one doesn't have that I mean it does have that it's just in a different spot like this one is in the back and this one's in the bottom so it definitely seems stronger by looking at it the motors they are different also this one's much bigger now I don't know if this equates to stronger or not don't really know but this old style has gotten me through plenty of holes if I find some videos using it I might insert some or they may be in another video but I would definitely purchase this winch again now what I'm about to do uh, I've made a video about before but I'm gonna take this cable off and I'm gonna replace it with this rope this rope here is brand new uh, I've actually only used it one time if you watched one of my other videos uh, my friend with a can am Maverick the OG Mav um, pulled him up out of a uh, rocky ledge actually pulled myself out of the mud too maybe I'll throw a picture of that up but I'm gonna put this one on the back so I know it still works I might reseal it since it got a bunch of goo on there but other than that that is the differences between the old style and the new style hopefully the new style gives me plenty of life I actually purchased this for $260 with a two-year warranty so we are definitely gonna probably take this thing back in that time frame just to get a new one if they let me but make sure you follow me on Instagram follow me on what's that thing called TikTok if you like shorter videos this is kind of a talky video some people don't like that but I'll see you all in the next one